Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa and Justin. Thanks to Elda, Calvin Samuel Donko and Benjamin Bafo Ewa for supporting my channel. If you want to support my channel, you can send your donation to my mobile money number. My name is Mensa or Justin. Or you can contact me personally and uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be very grateful to you. I want to buy a microphone and a camera to produce quality videos and the cost is 1200 Ghana cities. I've got 240 Ghana cities, so it has left with 960 Ghana cities, which is equivalent to $169. So you can donate 10 Ghana cities, 5 Ghana cities, 1 Ghana cities, 2 Ghana cities, 1 Ghana CD, 2 Ghana cities, any amount that you can just send it to my mobile money number and I'll be very grateful. If you also have a camera or if you can buy the microphone and the camera to me, I will also appreciate that. Thank you for donating and I hope you support my channel. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to integrate using the method of completing the square. So this is the question that I have on the board. Integrate 1 divided by the square root of 3 plus 2x minus x squared dx. So how do we integrate this? So now we have the integral 1 divided by the square root of minus x squared plus 2x plus 3 dx. So we take the quadratic expression under the square root. That is minus x squared plus 2x plus 3 and then integrate using sorry and factorize using the method of completing the square. So we factorize negative out left with x squared minus 2x minus 3. Then we find half of the coefficient of x that is minus 2. So we have minus 2 times half that is negative 1. Then we square this. And you add it to minus 2x and subtract it from 3, minus 3. So you have negative into bracket x squared minus 2x plus minus 1 squared minus 3 minus minus 1 squared. And this will give us minus into bracket. We take x and what is inside here. So you have x minus 1 squared don't forget to bring the bigger bracket because there's a negative sign here minus 1 squared is positive 1 so minus 3 minus 1 will give us minus 4 minus 3 minus 1 because minus 1 squared is 1 and there's minus 1 here so it's minus 4 that's what I've done here so you multiply through by the negative sign to get minus x minus 1 squared plus 4, which can be written as 4 minus x minus 1 all squared. Now let us factorize this one also further. Here I can factorize the 4 out. So I have 4 times 1 minus x minus 1 divided by 2 all squared. Now, why have I written this? Check here. This is 4 into bracket 1 minus x minus 1 all squared divided by 4. You see that? This 4 is the same as 2 squared. So divided by x minus 1 squared. So you can take the square out, so we have x minus 1 and 2 all squared. So that is why I have this here. Wow. Now, let us send this here. So now we are going to have the integral to be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 4 times 1 minus x minus 1 
divided by 2 all squared. Wow. So now let us move on. Now this will be equal to 1 divided by the integral 1 divided by square root of 4 times 1 minus x minus 1 divided by 2 all squared okay let me do the square root here before oh I have to do it nicely right so let me use the blue marker so this will be called in the integral 1 divided by the square root of 4 times the square root of 1 minus x minus 1 yes, I will know this from set if you have root 12 is the same as root 3 times 4 which is the same as root 3 times root 4 so that is what I've used here so this is root 4 times root of this wow and this will give us square root of 4 is 2 so I'm going to have 1 on 2 the integral 1 divided by 1 minus x minus 1 on 2 all squared under the square root very simple as that now what do we do here we are going to we forgot the dx 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 so here what we are going to do is that we are going to use the u substitution to do this integral so we will let u to be equal to x minus 1 divided by 2 so here u equal to x divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 2 the derivative of u with respect to x is half or if you differentiate this we get 0 x divided by 2 is the same as 1 divided by 2x so we take the coefficient if you differentiate it because it has power 1 and it is positive wow so to make the x the subject we have 2 du equal to dx so now let's do the substitution there and I'm cleaning this portion ok this part is there so let's go to this part I hope you are enjoying the lesson so here we are going to have this to be equal to 1 divided by 2 the integral 1 on square root of 1 minus u times 2 du and you will see that this 2 will cancel this half then we are going to have the integral 1 sorry that is squared because u is squared here 1 I'm going to have the integral 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared du and this is a standard integral that is if you have the sine inverse of u and you differentiate this this is what you get so the derivative of sine inverse of u will give us this or the arc sine of u so if you write arc sine don't bring inverse so if you differentiate arc sine of u you get this so if you integrate this you have to come back to the arc sine so here we are going to have sine inverse of u plus c since it is indefinite integral so this will give us sine inverse of u and what is u? we have x minus 1 on 2 plus c very simple as that 
and if you use the arc sign, you can write that arc sign x minus 1 divided by 2 plus c. Very, very simple as that. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Also, kindly support my channel for quality videos. Bye bye.